I wanted to tell you a little bit about the talk I'm giving here at the Sixth uh, World Parkinson's Congress here in Barcelona, Spain. It's really a pleasure to try to summarize a little bit about what I'm going to say in my talk coming up. Um, I'm going to share what I can about um, you know merging neuromodulation and uh, nat neurotechnology um, and what's happening really with like deep brain stimulation and neuromodulation in, in Parkinson's disease. So um, as many of you know, deep brain stimulation is not a new therapy. It's been available for over 30 years now um, and helps patients with Parkinson's disease who have advanced um, symptoms, including motor fluctuations, um, tremor that's refractory to medication and can help also manage dyskinesia. And it is one of the most powerful therapies we have for Parkinson's disease. Um, and, and many, many people um, benefit greatly from this therapy. Um, but there are still some um, hope that we can make this therapy even more um, accessible to, other, to people. We can uh, expand um, the types of symptoms that it could potentially help treat. Um, for, for now, we really are focused mostly on treating the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. And, um, and so I think in the future, we're gonna start to uh, have even uh, more sophisticated approaches of how this type of therapy is um, used in patients with Parkinson's disease. Um, and there's, there's many reasons why people may not fully benefit from, from deep brain stimulation at this point. And so I'll, I'll try to share with you now a few of the things that I think uh, we'll see uh, really helping to improve this therapy so that even um, more uh, patients could benefit or benefit even more uh, in, in certain symptoms that they are experiencing. One of the things that's really changed over the last few years is that we have much more um, choices in terms of the type of device that's used. We have, at least in the United States, three commercial manufacturers now and there are others um, being developed around the world. And so uh, implanting centers have choices about what kind of systems to place and these systems um, are getting more sophisticated. We can choose what kind of a, a deep brain stim stimulation lead to use. We have different ways in which we can um, implant the, the lead itself. We're getting better at targeting where in the brain the lead should be placed and we are really moving into an era now of personalized medicine. So we don't need to apply deep brain stimulation in the same manner to all patients. We can start to think about what is the best surgical target, what is the best um, implantation target, what is the best way to stimulate um, for patients. And um, so I'm, I'm going to share a little bit about that in my talk today. Um, one of the things that's uh, really exciting is that we now have better imaging tools to help us guide uh, where we're placing the deep brain stimulation electrode. In the past, we've really, uh, the neurosurgeons have really focused on you know, what nuclei to implant, but now we have a better understanding of the tracks in the brain, um, the pathways that we want to modify, and so there's a greater focus on thinking about how to um, place an electrode in a location that can uh, really uh, activate or, or deactivate, I suppose, and influence networks in the brain rather than a specific nucleus. So it's a, it's a more tailored approach and with better imaging we can do that. We can also model uh, the area in the brain that we're influencing with stimulation and we can overlay that on top of a patient's individual MRI scans to really customize the stimulation field and that's really I think helping to have less side effects and maybe make programming of the device which can be time consuming much better. The other thing that's happening with the newer systems, some of the newer systems, is we can now um, record brain activity through the stimulating electrode. And that's really changing the field. So we're learning a lot about the brain. We're learning about the, these uh, oscillatory uh, activity, oh, they're called just, you know, oscillopsias, really. There's the abnormal oscillations of the brain in these motor networks. And we're learning that we can um, detect when, when they are strong and then we can um, hopefully soon be able to use that as a signal, as a biomarker to then trigger for when, this, when the DBS may need to be on or off or turned up or turned down. So it'll be a much more dynamic type of treatment um, and very personalized for not only the person but what the person's doing. If they're asleep, if they're exercising, we might be able to offer different stimulation um, 
patterns or uh, amounts of stimulation to even make DBS more beneficial with less side effects. So it's really a time of change. We're learning a lot about um, the physiology of, of Parkinson's disease with these new systems. Um, and I think um, we will continue to see this field evolve. The technology will definitely continue to um, really advance and uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that some of the wearable technology that is so available now in an Apple Watch and other systems will also be uh, interacting with these deep brain stimulation systems to give us better tracking of people's um, day, their symptoms throughout the day that we can then use as uh, additional feedback to potentially, potentially adjust the DBS um, system as well. And lastly, I'd say that um, we're getting uh, more uh, advanced systems to allow us to program patients and adjust their stimulation um, remotely. So that's very, that's very good. So if you're not near an expert center, or you don't have a neurologist uh, that, that is nearby, you, you can still have your DBS system optimized uh, over the internet or through a remote programming center. And that's, that's a real change that we'll see uh, in the future as well. So lots of exciting things happening and you know, I could go on and on, but given the short window of time, that's a little glimpse of what um, I think is happening in the near future with deep brain stimulation.